Previously on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <gasps> oh my god, could it possibly be? And now, back to yelling at people! Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We last left off, uh, the judge fell in love with, uh, some cat- with his new favorite food, caviar, and also a giant pair of talking boobs. <laughs> Which one is more normal? I don't know. <laughs> So I, I'm kind of crazy in this game, aren't I? Oh, 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 oh. oh God. Oh, just looking out of the caviar off my face while staring at the cleavage. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're on the first day of the trial. And I kind of cut it off in the middle of her freaking thing. And I'm, ne I'm never going to remember it. <laughs> you guys already you guys already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Fucking volume. Okay. Did I already... Chief Prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Okay. Hold it! Tell me more about that the knife that the suspect was carrying. Wait, just a sec. She had a she had a picture, didn't she? I want to see. Does that like count? Like go against what? Wait, where to go? Oh, I thought we. Oh, there it is. No. Oh, I. Okay, I thought it showed a, it showed a picture earlier of her actually like like with a knife. I guess it was more like a flashback thing. Like, okay, I guess okay. So I don't have any evidence for that. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about 10 centimeters long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Is it? Is it? It is your knife, after all. Uh, um, yes, that is about right. Mm, yes, mm. T don't bring me into this. I have nothing to do with this. I didn't kill anybody. Stop looking at me! Prosecutors are by nature well versed in the location of a man's vital organs. I'm sure it was easier than boiling it for my, my exile surprise set. Mm, what are you talking about? <laughs> mm, I'd like to have some exile now. Mm, you can't justify your ability to kill an egg. I mean a person. <laughs> mm, perhaps chickens, chickens, salad set would have been a better metaphor. So the defendant was holding a knife. What then? Okay, then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective, Detective Gunman's chest. Hold it! Wait a minute. What do you mean pointy end? <laughs> Which part is the pointy end? You're gonna have to be, need to be more specific. Tell the court why you didn't try to stop this crime. You didn't see her raise the knife to strike, no? Oh. Defense has a point. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Defense has a point. I do need more caviar. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? I don't know. Fortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes. The next morning, next moment, the chief prosecutor. That that was the picture I was thinking of. Okay, so it is with her right hand. I, th I thought that might be like, that might be the freaking doodle nugget, whatever. Chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I I see. Fuck. <laughs> it's only it's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. No, we can't. We're fucked. <laughs> you, you said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Mr. Star's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fucking fatal to me. Fatality. What do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Yep. Just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking ne next to me makes me calmer. <laughs> makes me feel less bananas. Don't smile like that. <laughs> you don't know me. Okay, somehow I always knew a day like this would come. Hold it! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I already did this one. I just, I didn't realize I looked back around. I'm just gonna bow for the hell of it. Cause I'm fucking Edgeworth and I can do whatever the hell I want. Uh. Okay, fuck! Damn it! <laughs> the story didn't continue after I finished that. <laughs> that means I actually do have to present with something. Ah, oh, fucking balls. Uh. The only thing I can think of is maybe the parking lot floor plans with the wire fence? Objection. Fuck! <laughs> or not! Your Honor, that tapement totally doesn't do anything. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, God, I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy eating this food on my face. Oh, fucking fuck. Fuck any fuck any fuck. Um, maybe the photograph? Because it doesn't show her holding a knife. I fucking I don't know. Oh, that is it. I don't <laughs> Yes! A new witness list. Oh, my God. Wow, really? That was actually right. <laughs> I don't believe it. And you saw Miss Skye stab the victim with the knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear it on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Mmm, 
You want a taste? No, I do not. Mm, I'm sure that's fine luck. So I'll give it to me. Give me a fill. <laughs> but isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. This is a photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is this guy not holding a knife? That. <laughs> no one seems faced by it at all. Uh huh. Mr. Edwards, your thoughts? <laughs> um, objection. <laughs> No, you're supposed to do it with the big flashy letters. You're not doing it right. <laughs> Let's be a little more careful with our evidence, shall we? <laughs> it is you that needs to be, a bit, be more careful, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edward? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Whoa! How can you tell that? <laughs> uh, because he's putting she's putting him in the car. <laughs> I know, I thought that was kind of obvious, too, so I'm, I, <laughs> I'm a little baffled that this actually worked. Blood spatter, splatter. Uh oh. See the dark crimson stain on the chief prosecutor's coat. Uh. Oh yeah, I guess it is. It's a black and white photograph. That could be mud, or I don't know, feces. <laughs> Maybe a toilet drip doo doo on her on her coat while she was walking by. <laughs> it's true, actually. There is a there is a <laughs> disgusting sewer pipe that's been broken for weeks. <laughs> Every time I walk by, a big old pile of doo doo just strips on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. This trial's getting kind of disgusting, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sorry to be tell, but that just could be blood. This probably isn't right. That's what the point is. It's probably something else. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. Damn you, Edgeworth. You're always one step ahead of me. No problem except you. Mr. Wright, are you, are you going to just sit there and take this kind of abuse? Come on, fight back. Stop being a little bitch. Arg. You got a better idea? Mmm. Uh. Objection! Wait! That contradicts the weather witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Uh. No! So come on, this is the point where you start looking nervous and acting scared and throwing your, sh throwing your wig in my face. Throw your wig in my face! I don't have a wig to throw in your face. Son of a bitch. I'm so fucking boned. Na that, that's it? <laughs> if you run out of lunch, you are, you are the seconds. Pro problem solved. If you don't like it, try out in the jumbo size lunch from the get-go. Huh. Good advice. I'm not sure I understand it, but I, it's good advice. <laughs> Shut up! Whose side are you on? <laughs> God damn it. Where's Maya? <laughs> get out of here. You're not Maya. Just some horrible imposter with less funny things to say. And you're not short and funny and goofy. <laughs> well, my little goober back. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating like a robot. <laughs> I am... I am a robot. I shall stab you with my... <laughs> with my falcon knife! <laughs> Dude, Fa Captain Falcon should upgrade <laughs> from a fa falcon fist to falcon knife. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Objection! Objection! Premeditated! <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in that photograph. Well, are those gloves? Dude, I don't know. Was she wearing gloves? Oh wait, no, she wasn't wearing gloves, was she? I was right. Where did she get that? Uh, we we saw a cut on her hand before, right? Is that what this is gonna play into this? If she had, and then I think she said it was from the tussle in the murder. I can't I can't remember where she said it was from, but it's probably gonna play it. Like if she was wearing gloves, why did she have a cut on her hand or something? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would you have those on? Uh, blah, blah. I'll tell you why, with my big hand. If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. I don't know, she could be a surgeon part-time. You don't know that, Edgeworth. Shut up. Wow. <laughs> I love his freaked out look. <laughs> wow. These gloves do seem to tell tale premeditation. Oh, bear. Damn, you're so boned, Phoenix. Oh, God, I feel bad for you. Here, have some caviar. Premeditated murder. A serious fence. Witness, add this to your testimony. Okay. I guess this is now I gotta prove it. Murder was playing. The road loves prove it. Hold it! Wait a minute. Mm, I love it. God, I love slamming my desk so much. Well, she's just in the habit of wearing gloves, like driving gloves. Well, I can slam my big hand, too. How about that? The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. 
They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Hmm. I waved my hair on your face, Mr. Wright. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Wow! Ugh. Oh, sorry, Ford. <laughs> Impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force for star. This is bad. Did you have them thinking this was all planned? She can prove this claim the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We get- Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Stop quoting Monty Python. It isn't a flesh wound. I got my arms and my legs cut off and I'm a torso on the ground. <laughs> I cannot bite your legs off, all right? <laughs> said that before. Anything else? Not scientifically speaking, I don't know. What the hell I'm even doing here? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Obviously, the Blue Badger panel has everything to do. <laughs> it con contradicts his statement. <laughs> the hell is that thing? I don't know, but look at him dancing. Now look at Detective Gumshoe dancing. Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> I brought Detective Gumshoe in here to, <laughs> to imitate the Blue Badger's dance. Come and... Yeah, pal, let me show you my dance. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> As you can see, this clearly contradicts the evidence. Can't deny that. All right, sustained. Get the crap out of here. You're totally quitted. What the fuck's going on here? I don't know. I, I, I sorry. I kind of dozed in and out of this case, out of my cases. Oh, the knife? Because it was Edgeworth's knife. Witness, do you, do you know what this is? Uh. So it was. I, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I kind of guessed on this one, because how can it be premeditated if he used Edward's knife? Oh, you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. That's a knife. The knife. Knife that was in the Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. I do love cutting things with it, especially apples. Although I can't cut them very well. Ra ra ra. What's with this case? The bloody murder weapon, a red car, all belonging to the prosecutor. Eh? What the dude don't like? Well, it is the chief prosecutor for the district, right? I'll be your prosecutor, bad people! <laughs> why is there a child in here? Seriously, why? Like, <laughs> the, defense has, the defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that? What's that, rookie? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? In your testimony, you say that last guy planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. What, what do I know? I just like, I'm a man who loves caviar and turkey sandwiches. Gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she, why would she not also prepare the most important thing? The murder weapon. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, got you. That's true. Yeah, so. This knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Oh, okay. So it was found in the trunk. I was, I wasn't, I couldn't really remember where we got it. I was like, did she steal from his office or something? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. No. Oh. Wow! 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 I got a. Wow! I wasn't expecting that reaction so early. I throw my wig at you. Ha! I knew you had a wig. Don't you lie to me, you dirty whore. Order, 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 my caviar! Dirty sandwiches! <laughs> Great, now the tide is turning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister's as good as free. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, think again, I wag my little finger at you. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is. Humble pie! Yeah! What? No! No! It probably wasn't in the trunk originally, right? She put it in the trunk when she was done with it. I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that tide is, the tide has turned. <laughs> no, I didn't just think that to myself out <laughs> or say it out loud. Nor was such a trifling detail. But this shoots a hole in the whole pre even pre murder. Shut up! <laughs> Stop making Edgeworth. <laughs> bah. The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. Oh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the defendant last guy murdered a detective with a knife. <laughs> that's the only thing that the prosecution need prove. Nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. 
But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It was planned. It was planned. Ah! If she wasn't, why would she have been wearing? I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Stop being crazy psycho bitch too, please. When it's please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you? Did she? You know what she actually reminds me of? She reminds me of the... You guys ever watched the show The Closer? She reminds me of Brenda Lee Johnson. That was like the main character of that show. Probably helps that I'm giving her this southern accent, too. My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now? <laughs> God dang it. Okay. Stop deducing things and just give us... Just the facts. That is Sky intended murder detective Gooden. That's why she called it to fix him all the way to the prosecutor's office. She has some kind of vendetta against her, doesn't she? I'm sure that she prosecuted had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive the human machine to plunge knife in again and again. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Okay, I already, I already see where she plunged it again and again, but it was only a single knife wound. Well, there was something from the police department. Makes perfect sense. Doesn't sound like premeditation, doesn't it? So, so if I order pizza, does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, not Maya. <laughs> In any case, the fence may now cross examine the witness. <laughs> Alright, bring it on, Edgeworth. I already know what to do. Should I just do it? I mean, I guess I could press her and everything, but I actually know what it is right from the get-go, so... That's gonna trap you machine plunge and knife in again and again. Wait a minute! Hold on a freaking doodle second! I don't think so. You say she stabbed him again and again. But you couldn't have witnessed that. Oh, you testing me? Then I'll test you. With my most surprise! No! What kind of evil demon are you? I'm afraid that moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. <laughs> what you say, boy? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this. But take a look, for the love of God. <laughs> get your shit right, lady. The autopsy report states that the death was due to due to a loss of blood from one stab wound. Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah, you're right. Good job, Mr. Edward. What? What a hunk. He's my hero, really. What? What? Are you fucking kidding me? What about my objection? No one no, knows. I was the one who did this shit. No. No. Where are we next? God, Edward, you're so cool. I have the hops for you, man. God, I know. I'm just the fucking bat. Most badass motherfucker in this town. What? You got, you got the crime scene sick, right? What, what the hell? What? Uh, uh, oh, thank you. What the hell? It's kind of... I put actual blood in your rice. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Sweet. That's a, more flavor. More flavor. I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her breast. Right on her boobie. Splattered from, from her victim. That's why I thought she must have been stabbed him. Must have stabbed him at least twice. And tell us what you saw you thought was blood. Testify, God! <laughs> Testify! Testify! God, stop fucking deducing shit. Her red muffler, muffler looked like blood to me. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. Muffler, red muffler. I'll just press on that one. Her red muffler. Yes, like a scarf. The chief prosecutor always wears one around her neck. So she can be easily hanged at a moment's notice, I suppose. She's right. <laughs> she does like to be hanged at a moment's notice. This guy was wearing a red scarf, wasn't she? But wait. Isn't it odd that you mistook that for splattered blood? Well, people often mistake my beer. <laughs> people often mistake me for Father Time. Or, or Poseidon. Or Santa Claus. For a for a bit. <laughs> Probably because I always have bits of turkey sandwich on it. Mm. Not anymore. Thanks for that bastard over there. <laughs> I'll get my, I'll have my vengeance one day, Edward. One day! I judge with a bib. That's why this place feels so much like kindergarten someday. <laughs> Actually, I do think I saw some traces of blood on her chest. However, the autopsy report is clear on this matter. There was only one knife wound, so stop being stupid. 
so she's saying it's wrong. Apparently, Miss Sart isn't entirely sure of her own testimony. Miss Sart, this is our chance. Just for what I wonder. <laughs> oh wait, you mean that objection thing I always do? My God, you're totally right. Miss Sart turned out to be as short-tempered as she looked when she when we met her. Challenging her abilities as a detective really set her off. Sure, what burns out the fastest is a scientific fact. I wonder. Would it depend on the size of the candle, though? I mean, add more wax, and even a really short wick will burn longer. Oh my God, yes, yes, brilliant. Obviously, more scientific testing is required. Why are you here? <laughs> you don't know what you're doing, do you? I'm just gonna say the picture. Okay. Yes! <laughs> mm, wait a minute. Miss Star, I demand an explanation. <laughs> the witness is clearly not suited for detective work, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what did you say to me? Oh my god, I am gonna go over there. The suspect was not wearing a scarf or a muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. God damn it! Stop beating me to the punch, Edgeworth! Wait, was she not? She wasn't wearing her scarf? I couldn't really tell in the picture. Was that... I thought maybe it was covered by her jacket. And you proved it yourself. With this photograph, you stupid idiot. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but that... That can't be! No! No! Only a true professional could be so clueless. I'm sure you'll make a good lunch lady, have no fear. <laughs> oh, oh, burn, burn, Edgeworth. Damn right, baby. Edgy's on the case, baby. Oh, harsh words, but good. So good. Ah, God, I just love a good burn, don't you? Everyone in that, <laughs> everyone in the audience, like, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> and the Mr. Edgeworth prevails. He's so awesome. God, I just want to make. I just want to rip my clothes, rip his clothes off, and make sweet sexy love to him right here in the courtroom with everybody watching. I don't even care. Who's my objection? Can I let? Why am I even here anymore? There's the. But oh, it was there. I scuff. No, not that. But something red, really red. Maybe it was bits of his j giblets flying through the air. Little giblet bits. Well, now where were we? Shut. Oh, that's right. It was me slamming my f my f my hand on this desk and telling you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> The witness has given us an entertaining interlude, now back to business. What? <laughs> oh. Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. Stop being stupid. <laughs> it's all a crime and a paper into the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of our testimony. The most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. <laughs> oh, yes, that thing. Duh. <laughs> this next testimony might just be the moment of truth and justice. I'm gonna take you down to town. Apprehending the suspect. After the murder, the suspect the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. I quickly called her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. But you're not even a... We... I'm trying to relive my glory days. Ah, uh, yes. When I, arrested, when I arrested her, she mentioned the mother. That's what... What had me confused in my earlier testimony? What? She, she mentioned us. She mentioned her scarf. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> I've got a red scarf. I just thought you should know that. Wow, thank you for telling me that. Very important piece of information. She prosecuted me to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Dude, she is. God damn. You are quite a turn by the scarf, aren't you? God. Even I'm just like, what the fuck? Seriously. Who the hell? Why? Oh, you know what? I loved you at first, but now you're just turning to be kind of crazy. Like all my other loves. Well, everybody about my turkey sandwich. Shut up about your fucking turkey sandwich. I swear to God, I am gonna rip your face off. I'm gonna rip your beard off, and where is my own beard? <laughs> Move over there, father time. There's a new daddy in town. I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. I feel like I'm trying to get my job back or something. That's me, Angel Star. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's me, Brenda Lee Johnson. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is kind of, is a kind of snake. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten. I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> I got poison in my fangs. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> a little too kinky for me. Note, note to self, Ace Attorney. Ace, our attorney right gets bitten by snake. <laughs> Shut up. Don't, don't write that down. She prosecuted to try to resist, but her efforts were in vain. Did she like have her like fucking peers or something? The people fired her in the audience right now. Like, oh yes, oh, of course. She doesn't look like a total dumbass right now. <laughs> She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Yeah. An oil drum? 
Hard to imagine. <laughs> she's like, ah! <laughs> down, drum down! Oh, she's beautiful but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Row! <laughs> Row! <laughs> Very well. Row! I got it. Row! Please add that into evidence of it. The defendant went, Row! <laughs> Ross examination, if you will. Tear a new one, Phoenix. All right, that's worth. Bring it on, you freaking bastard. I'll show you who's top dog. Okay, after the murder, suspect attempted to run behind partition. Hold it! So where is this partition in the floor plans? I'm sure what she means this wall next to the car. That's right. I remember that wall. There was a wall there about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. And what did you do then? I quickly called her and explained her rights and arrested her on the spot. Hold it! <laughs> you say quickly. Were you close to the suspect? As I just said. I was only 30 feet away from the from her the whole time. You were behind a park you were behind a gate, right? I mean you couldn't get to her. Hmm. Maybe we should press her for more details. Yes! I'd like to see this on the floor plans, just to be safe. She was yes, yeah, she said she was behind a gate. You lying bitch! Who that sign car was? She was a visitor, thus she was parked in the B block. So you witnessed the murder from here? I'll ring her about 30 feet about from the car, yes. Is that great, Miss Star? Y yes, that's, that's right. Oh, I got you now. I got you now. But there was a chain link fence in front of you. I, I went over it, of course, because my amazing, sweet, awesome ninja skills. I'm like five from zero, Skip. I can just leap over shit all the time. Amazing. Cobble Queen Lunch Lady Athlete, indeed. Oh, somehow you didn't even drop your lunches. How'd you do that? I'm a very talented woman. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> so I sound like a... Sound like a female seven. Hey, ye. It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she couldn't have gotten to my sister that fast. Yeah, that fence was about nine feet high, too. Like, holy shit. She was wearing high heels. Come on. Look at this guy didn't get away. Okay, when, when I rest her, she mentioned a muffler. First off, I mean, I should point out that you shouldn't she shouldn't even be able to arrest somebody. You're not a cop anymore. Or a detective, or whatever she was. She mentioned the muffler. I don't get this either. What? Wait, she mentioned the muffler? What exactly did she say? If I remember exactly, remembered exactly, I would have told you my testimony. You cheeky bitch. <laughs> anyway, all I heard was she said the word muffler. <laughs> okay, I heard that word for some reason. Girls, that won't work. So, what her, what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but someone else. Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Oh, her phone? You mean this cell phone? <laughs> leave it be. When is, when, is it ever an option? when is that ever the right thing to do to leave it be? My phone, you mean the cell phone discovered in the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory. It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. No, the court doesn't seem a star. Stop using metaphors and just say it. The chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently it was out of order. So she used her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Go to witnessing witness. Ah. Good witnessing. Whatever happened to good testifying? <laughs> Why am I? Nobody's complimenting me today. I even wore my favorite pink tie. And of course, I listen to your testimony. Things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. Son of a bitch. Stop doing this. Stop giving me that shit. She gave up trying to use the phone on the wall and just used her cell phone. Hold it! Wait a doodle second. Um, do you think you could re restate your testimony for the court? Aha! I was gonna ask the same thing! Oh, that's because I was too busy eating, finishing off my caviar! I wanna see this one more time, so listen close, rookies. Chief Prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. She picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. Okay, how 
would you know that? You're all the way on the other side. How could you know that? So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. And then I leaped like a fucking, like a fucking jackal over that fence. Turn that time and climb. Turn that time and climb over the train link fence. Oh, snap, crackle, pop, I got your arm, bitch. <laughs> then when I boldly grabbed her arm, Chief Prosecutor hung up her phone. Hung, hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this. What is it, Mr. Wright? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Chief Stop. Chief Prosecutor made his escape against Angel Stop. Resistance is few. Guess again. Guess what? I'm gonna give you this thing. Okay. Ugh, you could not possibly have seen it. I'd include that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lea Sky. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Bullshit! She's so fucking ridiculously biased. It's ridiculous. It's seriously. Well, who would have thought you were in my nine shot armor, prosecutor? You, who together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What the? Yeah. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> I do what I, I do what I want. I'm Edgeworth, baby. Well, Mister. This is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. You mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. <clears throat> look at look at the blue blurred hands. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly see Miss Sky making that phone call. Oh, son of a freaking man! I really don't plan this shit out very well. I believe you see what I'm getting at. The emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. Do 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 what? What? Do 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 do. Oh yeah, this is my jam, baby. Here we go. Lou, 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 lou. Or or. Why are we making a list? It's simple, Your Honor. She's not coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies. Lies. No! Uh, that's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you would allow me a question. Just exactly what a lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counter attack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. Who is lied about? Uh, what she saw, where she saw it, the order of events. Or where, no, it's gotta be probably where she saw it. I mean, right, because she wouldn't have been able to see from that angle, so. She tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It'd be pointless for her to lie about it. Pointless to lie. I say. The witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. In other words, Miss R witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? The fuck? No. No! No, no, no! That's a pointless lie if I ever heard one. Before you call my lie pointless, at least still let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? Well, the testimony we've heard until now points in one direction. The place from where Miss Sky saw the witness witness crime. Uh, like right here? I mean, that's the only way she could see it. Hey, she had to run by her. She couldn't have seen from, well, no, she could see from the security room, right? Because then, she's probably in the security room. Like, she probably could see it through a security camera. This is the only place where she could have been. A security guard room. Indeed, the security room in the underground parking lot is well positioned. It is built on the second level, so you can see the entire lot. Hmm, so she would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the partition is here. I remember your testimony, you said. You brought lunch to your boyfriend in there, security guard, in the security guard room, yes. Well, Miss Starr, tell me I'm a liar. Go ahead and tell me. How many years have I been getting the, be getting the better of men? Think that the tables could be churned. Today, a man has got the better of Angel Stop. You're damn right I did. Hmm. What? What? What have you done? You should be a detective. You should know better. What the fuck is wrong with you? 
I'm not turning my back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. Justice will prevail. Will prevail! Guilty, she talking about Miss Sky. Um, uh, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? Doesn't make sense. Is that, huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. Exactly. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stab it was the defendant who stabbed the victim. But how'd she get that photograph then? That's the real question. That is obviously taken from behind the chain link fence. So how did you get that photograph? That truth still stands. Objection! It still stands. I disagree, Mr. Erd, with you freaking bastard. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Say what? If Unis is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't have risked that without, without a good reason. Well, tell us what, what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? Me? <laughs> Who else? What are you thinking about? <laughs> Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Mr. Star witness the crime from the security guard station. No, Mr. Crime, that was me saying that. When she lied, she said she saw it in B block. It must make a mild difference. But what? What would change? Angle the view of the distance to the crime, different. <laughs> the difference in lighting, obviously. Angle of view to the crime. That's important because of the picture. Why the angle at which she saw the crime occur would change? Uh, angle? What do you mean? Um, well. Security guard station is on the second floor. And, um. She would have sort of a more 3D view of the, of the crime. And this is important? Why? Um... Oh, come on! Perhaps you'd like to reconsider Mr. Wright. Are you fucking kidding me? Mr. Wright, let's review what we... Oh, come on! That was... That was totally it! She... she... I was gonna point at the fucking picture. That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Distant... Difference in lighting. Okay, it's supposed to be distance to the crime. It changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. My condolences, Mr. Wright. One look at the floor plan, it's quite clear. This is between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. What, she's, what she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Huh? huh? <laughs> Miss Star, you witnessed the crime the security guard station. Now how long did it take you to go from there? To the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Sky. Well, witness, you. Uh, yes. What? You are the squid, squid wheels, right? Quality mileage has gone from low to inedible. <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't even know. Why do I keep all this inedible, inedible food in my thing? I was bringing a PB and J lunch with with fresh boys and berry jam, my boyfriend. Mm, boys and berry for the boyfriend. I get it. It makes sense. <laughs> I can see clearly now there's boys and berry on my face because I was the one eating that sandwich. He was in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime on the glass wall of the station. I went lippy 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 doo. Before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running toward the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it, so I kicked it open with my big bare feet. Bam! Holy shit. Oh, you've got to be bullshitting me. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking and be blocked. That's... Well, that's quite a detour. Like, are you shitting me? And then you climb the fence and... No, that's... I don't buy that for a fucking second. I do not buy that story. Probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crowd. Well, five minutes? Five minutes! Oh, this things considerably. But it was that woman over there who's the defendant's... Who's in the defendant's chair? Who stabbed him? I know it. I have the photographic evidence. I swear. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. Mmm. <laughs> finest plastic spork. Mmm. Yeah, poor. And the spork is a wonderful invention. It's God. Think of it. It's amazing. It's a spork and a, a fork and a spoon. It's amazing. Okay. <clears throat> Whoever came up with it, I love you. Would you like another caviar lunch? Oh my God! Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't threw in some bits of turkey in there just for you, uh, darling. Oh my god, I love you again! Ah! Oh my god, oh god. Uh, your honor, are you, are you, 
Were you having sex with that lunch? You're damn right I am. Oh, oh, every course of journey, I'm busy. I'm busy. Uh-oh. Damn you, Caviar. I knew I should have brought Caviar with me. Strut, you have to do something. You have any evidence to stop this. I'm going to sit back and observe. Objection. Five minutes between the witnessing, witnessing the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You can make pasta in the amount of time. If you like it all, el dente, el dente. Would you like some more cooking, cooking mama references? Is that what that is? <laughs> it sure looks like. I've got the lunch boxes that tie pasta in the knots, rookie. Blah, blah. A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange? If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, your honor? Well, well, I don't know. I'd make myself a turkey sandwich. Of course you would. I guess I fled the shark. Ah! Don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anybody. No, no. Stop asking. Stop looking at me. But you have the instincts of a killer. You would run. But this, this time was different. Miss Sky Donald at the scene of the crime. She even had a picture taken. The no true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah. Yeah. God, feels so good. Feels so good. Freaking nail that bitch to the wall. Ah! Well, Elaine, see what we've come to the end of this testimony. There's a grudge against the defendant, and there's a blank in her testimony. Mr. Edward, this next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did we, we screwed that can and shove, Mr. Wright. That was too close. Wait, is that it? We done? No, I don't think so. I'm afraid that cough-up queen has been dethroned. Get the fuck out of my courtroom, you bitch. Take your disgusting caviar with you. I was lying. Next time, make me a turkey sandwich and maybe we'll talk. With that, court's adjourned. Get the fuck out of here. I hate all of you. What the hell? Who said that? Hold it there. I don't think so. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to force off me. Off on me. I prefer not to take... To not take the defense t team's leftovers. Anything else to say? <laughs> uh, I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? <laughs> Seriously, I, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Stupid beard covers my ears. Can't hear nothing. It's another one of her trip lunch boxes. Damn her trip lunch boxes. My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Stark. Get the hell off my stand. Ah. Uh. Is this your jumbo lunchbox? Chock full of for that turkey sandwich you delight? Oh, ah! oh my gosh, a triple decker turkey sandwich, I don't believe it! <gasps> oh, oh, my love, my darling. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll defer to the witness's determination. I'll allow one more testimony. Oh, while well, I eat my food here. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. God, do I ever get full? Fuck, what am I asking for? Of course not. Let's hear about this advice of evidence. Like the lunch lamb motto says, you won't be disappointed. Wish you're gonna pull out of your lunchbox this time. I don't have time for this nonsense. None of, none of, none of my watch. God damn it, what is it? I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I, did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on this shoe. But of course, the victims. And the other was the defendant, Miss Lana Sky's blood. The shoe proves its flaws and decisive evidence. <laughs> what? There was blood found on that shoe? Oh, wow. How do we not know? Why does the she know that and we don't? Try lunch land for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Witness, what's the meaning of this? The fuck, bitch? Just to tell me this stuff. Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, m Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed. Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? <laughs> what did you say? You should know the two e rules of evidence law, Miss Star. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe isn't legal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? 
It seems so. The Rusher is celebrating. You're damn right, baby. Not so fast, Mr. Edgewood. Don't go, don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, the shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police, police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgewood. No, 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 no! Damn. <laughs> It's the first time I've looked really pissed off this trial. Uh, I wanna get that bitch. Mm. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Stop asking me. Seems so. Edworth is looking pretty pissed. <laughs> Could at least study some evidence of law, really. Shut up. <laughs> it's not my job. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> Prosecutor's complaints notwithstanding. Appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence of law. I guess, according to what she said, I don't know. I didn't read it. <laughs> well, seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that guilty are properly judged. Son of a bitch, stop giving me shit. I don't want this shoe. Get it out of here. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross examine this witness. Alright, bring it on, Edgeworth. Or, uh, that chick instead. <laughs> Since you don't really want this anyway. Okay, I should have mentioned the first five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crimes. Hold it there! Wait a minute. Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just want people to look at the results. The results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. Then why didn't you just tell the truth, for the love of God? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile are known as prosecutors. Falsified evidence, strange testimonies, arresting and manipulating evidence. When you find monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. This is this is when the suspect is admitting she did it. <laughs> no, false testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Mr. Star. Let's just get this over with. You're going to jail after this. Now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not break? No, you didn't bring this up. And you found this shoe at the scene of the crime. I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. <laughs> I was afraid someone would trace the chief prosecutor's crime. The shoe is my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. <laughs> carries bloody shoes, too. But maybe for you and your lunchbox bag, really. <laughs> In any case, you remove valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. And tell us what you did what you did next. What the fuck is wrong with him? Jessica Blower found that she won, of course, the victims. Hold it there! So you brought it to the forensics department. If you're going to submit something's evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by forensics expert. She got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have bloodstains on it. Makes sense after all, a man was stabbed here. And that blood belonged to the victim, Detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. The other was the defendant, Miss Lance Scott. Hold it there! This is the, this can't be the defendant's shoe, though. I think she wore black shoes, right? So this has gotta be his shoe, but then it's like, why is there Because they were sure that the blood belonged to the victim with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, speak up! Uh, well... Blood comes in four types. A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from blood tests whether a murder was performed in cold blood. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I dozed off. <laughs> I just figure your speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, if you combine all the various blood tests, there are millions of types. It's practically impossible to narrow a blood sample down to one person. Or so I hear. Millions of types? Millions! If I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But they say there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lance Sky. Mm. So the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. That ties it directly to the de death of Detective Goodman. I was afraid he was going to say that. She proves it's flawless, decisive evidence. I'm awesome. I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You are the peppered fish guts, right? <laughs> mm, yes, I did, actually. Some like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some like some like your client. She's in, she's in enough hot water to make a whole batch of soup. Mr. Wright, do you know? Do you or don't you have a problem with this shoe? Problem? 
This is critical. What's wrong with the victim shoe? There's no problem with the shoe at all. Absolutely no problem. There's a problem. If I'm not imagining things, I say there is one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. A gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'll give you a pep of fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's <laughs> see what Mr. Rath to say. He's already schooled you like five times his trials. So why you got? Why are you still talking get like you got big game? <laughs> What's this contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with this evidence. I will show you. Uh, the blood underneath it? Um, yeah. Look at this! I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the- It'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Holy shit, am I just gonna like let that- So you're threatening to murder him in my courtroom. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Dude, there's quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense, the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradicting about blood on the bottom of his shoe? This here? I'm not really- I'm not really sure exactly. I mean, I was gonna say because he was hanging upside down in his car, but- well, maybe, maybe, in case his feet were up in the air. So maybe this, or, he, okay. Okay, let's try this one. Mmm. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, is this strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Mmm. As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about the shoe. Look at the shoe. No, that shoe. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody. F there could have been bloody footprints. Are you kidding me? If there were bloody prints, they would have been found. We took the scene and, and found nothing of the sort. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Mmm. Or or ah. Well, what next? What? Huh? I uh no. It's impossible. I can't possibly be defeated. By the likes of you! Quit going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of footprint is a contradiction. But then, we have to ask why it wasn't there a footprint. Oh! That's true. That's the reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright, think. Hmm. Hey, I don't know why it's not... Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? <laughs> what? Hold it there, Mr. Wright. I see. Now I get it. Get what? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint to the truth in... There's one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? She planted this evidence? Think back to when she told you... Told us about apprehending the suspect. She prosecuted tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly, a predator, this a leper woman. Oh, snap. Edwards is about to shut her down. I thought this was a strange thing for the normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that, hmm. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edwards. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. We're next. Where? What's the old drum empty? I don't know what's happening, but tell answer the question. The old drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Water? What does that? What does that mean? <laughs> Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! You don't mean? Did it wash away the bloody footprints? Yes, the suspect knocked over the oil drum for one reason, one reason alone. To erase the blood scenes that would become evidence against her. Uh oh. Shit, never mind. I thought he was gonna shut her down, now he shut me down. I try to think something quite nicely. Blood scenes left on the fucking shoe attire quite clearly this murder. After the deal was done, she knocked over an oil drum to erase the telltale sign. Why, that's a prosecutor's specialty. Erase evidence. <laughs> that reminds me. This guy's right hand was hurt. <laughs> Did she say she cut herself when she gets, when she stabbed him? So my sister's blood on the shoe, that's when it happened? Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something! 
Please! Uh, 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 what? What can I do? <laughs> Your sister has confessed to the crime and she's trying to conceal it. I'm boned. <laughs> but... Slam in my... Enough. There is no need for the further debate. The verdict, your honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. Score five is famous last sky. Uh, uh. Uh, who did it this time? Uh, uh, uh. Hold the thing. Little girl. What did you do? What did you just say? Huh? 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 Me? <laughs> Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? <laughs> oh, for the love of God, can we just get on with it? <laughs> All I gotta do is slam my gavel down and she's guilty. You're pushing the- Are you really? Really stupid? You're gonna keep pushing this bullshit because you're fucking bananas? Now she's gonna- Now she's gonna show how crazy she is and then- Or something like- <laughs> It's like, really? She's like, wow, you're about to win here, bitch. Now you're gonna go to blow it? Well, yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well... I thought you had your... You'd had your fill, but here you are, demand a second helping. Another lunchbox, a lunchbox called evidence. Wait, we're just tell me you have something else. God, are you freaking ca We're about to declare the verdict! Why does it matter? Objection. You've reached your verdict, Your Honor. Any further comments will be held in contempt, con contempt of court. Your threats don't scare me, the cough of queen. Look at this! A oh, photograph! Oh! Holy shit, I gotta, I gotta lay the fuck out! I had this just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Oh, I see no room for error in this evidence! Okay, what? Stop adding shit! You're just making it worse for yourself, you stupid idiot! You mean? That's right, wait! Look at the asphalt in this photo! Hey, it's clearly wet! Where is the last trace of doubt from the mine, quartz mine? Merely after the murder, the cre same crime scene was washed with water. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I... I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. Your sister's just a crazy psycho bitch. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning, so... And... It seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. Mo oh, Mano, do I feel the power of Mia in me? Am I gonna grow a pair of boobs? Or... I'm sorry, Mia. Right. What? What or not? Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Oh, whoa! 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 Did my did my boobs just get big for a second? Get yourself off, up off of the asphalt. Take a good, another good look. Don't give up. Not yet until the bitter end. Hmm. My God, bitter end. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well. It's time I'd like to declare a verdict for the good. Here I go. About to do it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! I don't think so, you dirty whore. You are on your weight. What's with you people? Can I hand out my verdicts and peace anymore? God! Let me do my job. Where, wherever it is, can it wait, please? No, it can't. No, then it will be too late. Look at this photograph, the last one submitted. The trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper construction. Construction, is that what you said, right? So, right? Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah, I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I gotta go ahead with this. I suppose as we come this far, it's just give her a clear fair shake. Why the fuck not? Oh, you're almost right. Just do your thing. No problem with this photograph. Oh, fucking hell, don't. I want to see my game first. Why is there no picture of a license plate here? Uh, I don't know. What? The body was in this direction when. Right? I mean, the body itself. Maybe? It's been moved, isn't it? Well, it's probably here, don't you think? Huh. As your elder, Mr. Wright, let me give you a piece of advice. The poor saying, at least remember to keep your eyes open. I believe he's trying to say no one's fallen for your bluffs, Mr. Wright. Hope your eyes are sick scientifically. Well, since we come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. The water! Well, it's probably here, don't you think? I don't think so. Stupid idiot. Blah, 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 blah. Well, oh, thanks, I got, like, unlimited tries on this. Go ahead, try again. Do this forever until I get something right. Okay, obviously. It's the knife! 
Well, it's probably here. No, 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 wrong again. Stupid. Ah, here, go ahead. Have another get go. Ball again. Ball again. Uh, this is time. Watch. Watch time. Well, it's this thing. Oh, no, nope, wrong again. Oh, no, I couldn't keep doing it. I'm gonna keep on doing it. The license plate. Maybe that is it. Well, it's probably here. Oh, no, no, it's crashing. Barely, 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 barely. But the tailpipe, maybe? No. The problem in this photograph is here. It is. Oh, okay. It's funny. I was looking at that, and uh, I mean, it looks sort of like I don't know. I saw it dripping. And I was like, I, I don't know. I think what? I don't even know what that points out. What's this? There's something poking out of the car. The car's muffler. Oh. I thought it was like, where's your mom, Mr. Edward? I thought that was, oh, I thought it was just, I don't know, moisture coming out of it. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Edward, you're on, eh? You just said muffler. Muffler! I don't actually no traces of, of a muffler or scarf of any kind of photo. Muffler is also part of a car or on, or on a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Do you not? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't, I don't use cars. I drive on my horse and buggy. <laughs> So I am old as hell. Just something it has as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I say, and uh, ah, ah! Seriously, who doesn't know what an exhaust pipe is? A special looking claw sticking out of the car's muffler. Oh, huh, so what if there is something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Shut up! Objection. Sorry, mister. But it's not going to be be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Rice will say again. Go ahead and talk your shit. That's why you think a piece of cloth in this muffler's way to this case. Tell us. Oh, the word muffler was overheard during a call me. Okay, here. Miss Star, recall your testimony for the court. Okay. I forgot that thing got changed. Oh, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused my earlier testimony. Blah blah blah. Blookity 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 blah. Blah Muffler. Ah! Yarg! Yarg! I forgot my part. Yarg! Could it be the muffler you heard mentioned? What's actually this exhaust pipe? Did you ever think about that? If so, that means this piece of evidence claw is vital evidence. Oh, why? <laughs> yes, she's dead. Mm. I love how this music gets so chill after this banana shit. You know, it's like, just when we're done, it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, we just dropped the beat down a little bit. Oh, it's nice. So mellow. I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna take a nap now. Oh, oh, sorry, wait. Oh. Well, see, so we suspend, suspend, the, oh, suspend the proceedings. S suspend? I found myself warning about that piece of cloth. Any, we leave any question unanswered here, we do what deserves the law. Now the car at the crime scene inspected once. Bring me that cloth. Bring it to me! We'll use this napkin for my new Turkish arrow. First of all, we'll wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Oh, phew. That was close. I'm still screwed up. But we made it. At least for now. Ah! Oh, car's adjourned for 30 minute recess! Lunch time after all. You know what that means? <laughs> Still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> all right. Well, shit. This one went on for a while. <laughs> I thought it was gonna end like earlier, and I was like, "Fuck, it's gonna go on for just a little longer." So now I gotta, now I gotta stretch it out. This video. Uh, god dang it, stupid trials. These these trials are lasting longer though. Uh, this is a hard one, though. I mean, this is like, some of this shit is like, I don't know. That last one, or not that other, not that one, but uh, the one where, where a few of them have were really hard to, like, <laughs> figure out what is like, what do you want from me, game? What do you want? Oh, uh, the tailpipe one. That was hard. Uh, all right, well, anyway, like for you just video. Subscribe now to Hot Boy the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the fits are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.